I could just go from like a casual style of like telling you what it's about. Yeah, it was so with your name and all that. Good okay, stuff. so hi everyone. <laughs> My name is Jules and I'm a senior um, currently studying studio art at Davidson College in North Carolina. Um, so I'm currently preparing for my senior exhibition which will be happening in April and my theme in general I've been working a lot with the female body um, and before my theme was concentrating on the restriction of the skin and kind of like the energy underneath the skin and the expansion of the energy. Um, I work in multiple medias. Um, I sometimes combine them together and sometimes I leave them as they are um, in sculpture or in paintings. And during my time at a zoo, I've been working specifically focused on the belly of a woman body. Well, that's interesting because they're so different amongst all women. Yeah, um, which I try to pull it into a more autobiographical um, experience. So, um, accompanied by like a little poem that I can also share later, um, I'm painting or drawing my mother's belly, which I believe, like, you Life. know, I draw my source of inspiration from because mm. that's where it came, came from, you oh, know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so it's kind of like going back to the origin and kind of like linking to my experience as a female as well. Does any story about appetite and food go into that? Because that's... Um, not quite. I don't work so much with like appetite or food. I work more in regards to the emotions related to that part of the body or like experiences of that part of the body. Yeah, as in, you know, um, like the most common theme that people think of when we talk about belly is like pregnancy or childbirth or something like that. Although I haven't experienced those things in my personal experience, my personal life, but, you know, having my mom, having experiencing that and having her like, um, telling me the stories regarding that um, experience made me want to do a series based on that and kind of like linking to my expectations to that part of my life in the future. Um, yeah. and do you base it on drawings or just studies or live models or how do you... Um... Um, the human part, I base them on models. Um, I have my mom a model for me, like she sends pictures to me oh, from cool. back home. Um, but the watercolor part, which I'm trying to... Um, is that these things here? This is yes, the um, I'm trying to explore kind of this like combination of the two medias. That comes from <coughs> the landscape in you know, a zoo, actually. Oh, um, right. The different kind of fungus I found growing on the um, dry woods and on the ground and on the stones and everything. I took photos of them during my morning walks. And I try to use that as an inspiration. And how will these be displayed in your final? Have you come up with that yet? Or? Um, I, I haven't thought about that. Uh, for right now, I'm just cherishing yeah. this opportunity to like kind of clear my head and you know, like look into something without thinking about my hero, <coughs> which I feel like will have a space for like new ideas and spark you know new inspirations for how I will be displaying them or not. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jules. Oh, no problem. Yeah. <laughs>